if you don't get your life in order, then go to where you can live and do whatever you want. Far from here. My name is Ego, and I play Iabo on Wura. Wura is a series um, set in Ikmeri Do in Ocean State, and it's about um, different families and how their actions and reactions affect one another. Um, especially the action of Wura Adilike, who is the owner of Frontline Gold Mine, um, who just commits atrocities <laughs> and in covering up those atrocities commits even more. Um, there's also Iabo, who is the matriarch of the Kuti family and who has lost her husband um, because of Wura and just trying to hold her family together and just trying to survive. Yes, 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 yes. I enjoyed my time on set. Um, very fun set. Um, it would teach people a lot about the town. I mean, there are a lot of things that people don't know about it and they will get to know, they will get to find out the, the, about the culture. And you know, you know some things. I mean, you know about the palace or me, you know about um, the waterfall and everything, but some things in it would actually open people's eyes to even do more research and just know that, okay, this, this happens here or this happened here. You know, the history, the culture and everything. So if once people watch it, they'll get to see a lot. It educated me <laughs> because I didn't know that there's an actual gold mine here. Um, and it sort of, it, open my eyes. I mean, you, you sort of know these things or this, you sort of taught these things in secondary school. Oh, this, this town or this state has this certain mineral resources and everything. But um, there's just a lot more that we don't know about the difference, and not just in national states, in different parts of the country. Um, so it will definitely open people's eyes and I hope it will um, encourage people to even research more and find out a lot about these um, resources that we have in this beautiful country. Like I said, people are, people are going to relate to that because that's what a lot of people are doing now, just trying to survive their life from day to day. Um, for her, she doesn't even have big plans like, oh, next year we're going to build a house. She's just thinking of what the family is going to eat, you know, that day and the next day. So and a lot of people will relate to that and it will, her, her just trying to survive and what she does to survive and the love she has for her family and trying to keep her household together will definitely um, endear her to a lot of people, a lot of viewers. She's, she's a strong woman, she's strong-willed um, and she's that glue that holds her family together. Um, she has um, three kids uh, of different personalities and she's um, trying to hold the family together in the absence of the father. Um, and she's a strong believer. Um, she just does everything to, to, to make sure that her family stays together and her family survives. She works very hard um, and she's, she's very strict. She's, she's very, very strict with her family. She's a no-nonsense woman and she loves her family and she will defend them, you know, come hell or high water, she would defend that, you know, she would defend her children. She would stand up for her children. So um, that it makes her very special.